Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I am a content creator and Twitch streamer who loves cozy games. I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for all the love on my last video. I was able to reach YouTube partner and I am eternally grateful. So thank you very much if you watched that. If you haven't seen the video, I will link it down below. Many of you recommended so many games and a lot of you wanted to see a part two. So here we are. Without further ado, here are 10 more cozy games games on the Nintendo Switch that you should be checking out. The first is Unpacking. Unpacking came out just a couple of months ago and it is this zen, relaxing game that gets you to do exactly what the title suggests unpack. In this game you move through the characters different homes and unpack all of their belongings where you get a lot of creative freedom in how you want to decorate the rooms in a way that you like them. Throughout the game you learn clues about the life that you're unpacking too so there's a little bit of a story element to the game as well. Overall it's super relaxing, super fun and I think it's a perfect game to wind down in the evening with. The next game is Rhyme. Rhyme is an adventure puzzle game where you play as this young boy who's mysteriously woken upon this beautiful but also a little bit grueling island called Rhyme. As you explore this world there are many different puzzles to solve within the environment using aspects such as sound, light and platforming elements too. The game's story has a deeper meaning as it follows through the different stages of grief and this becomes quite clear by the end of the game but don't worry there are no spoilers here. The next is Firewatch. Firewatch is an adventure game where you play as this lonely man who's decided to retreat from his normal life to work as a fire lookout in the wilderness. In the game you explore the beautiful environment whilst also solving mysteries that appear within the story by doing small quests and sharing dialogue with some of the other characters. The colors in this game are absolutely stunning. I think I played this on the PlayStation but it is also on the Switch and I think that the art style and the colors and the soundtrack would come through beautifully on the Switch as well. The next is When the Past Was Around. When the Past Was Around is an adventure point and click which explores many themes around love, letting go, as well as the joys and pains of everything in between. I found this game to be very touching where you slowly learn more and unravel the story of Ida and the owl. Again the art style is so beautiful, it reminds me of a painting and the soundtrack is really beautiful too. Too. I really liked this one as it was a point and click style game which I find I don't see too many of those these days. It's quite quick to finish but it's definitely an experience you won't forget. The next is Spirit of the North. It can't be one of my YouTube videos without me talking about a game with a fox in it. Spirit of the North is an adventure game where you are a fox exploring the landscapes of what seems to be Iceland. What I really liked about this game is that there was actually no story or dialogue per se. The point really is just to take in your surroundings and also solve some puzzles along the way to progress through the game. There is a collectible component too but overall I think the developers really just wanted you to take in the beautiful landscapes around you and just take a moment to pause and be in the present moment. The next is Child of Light. This is a platformer where you play as a girl called Aurora who looks like a little princess and she's on a journey to save her father and a lost kingdom. I find this game to be so interesting as it ties in the platformer genre with RPG elements such as turn-based fights, upgrading abilities, as well as improving your skills. Overall, this game was so beautiful, charming, and fun, and it had a gripping story with, of course, a beautiful art style, beautiful soundtrack, you know what we're here for. I highly recommend this one. It wasn't too long. Compared to a normal RPG, it definitely wasn't long. The next is Little Wood. Although I haven't played this game yet, it really gives off Stardew Valley vibes, and you'll see why in a second. Little Wood is an RPG where you you interact with characters in the town called Littlewood and you can also craft, farm, cut wood and fulfill quests too. I believe the game starts out as that you've woken up and the town has told you that you've just defeated the monster that's been plaguing the town but you don't remember anything. So I think as you go back to living your normal
normal life you learn a little bit more about what happened previous to what you've forgotten which I think is quite cool overall I think if you like Stardew Valley or even Animal Crossing that this is a game that you might enjoy the next is Coffee Talk so this is a visual novel game and if you aren't too familiar with what that is it's basically a game that emphasizes text-based story over gameplay itself so in Coffee Talk you work in a coffee shop and your job is basically to listen to all the different characters who come in and listen to their stories and their problems and chat with them whilst also making them their coffee or another warm beverage whatever they prefer but there are so many different people and characters to meet and to speak to and this game is also accompanied by relaxing jazz or lo-fi music I think this game is perfect for an evening to wind down with a nice drink yourself the next is two games but I'm going to put them in one because they are of the same the same thing they are from the same series so that is Ori and the Blind Forest as well as Ori and the Will of the Wisps the Ori games are adventure platformers where you play as a little creature called Ori and your goal is to explore and save the forest in which Ori inhabits it's a very touching game and I really liked this one as it had themes about the environment I feel like this would probably be the least cozy of the cozy game recommendations as it is a platformer that can get quite difficult and you might get a little bit frustrated so I would just be ready last but not least we have Eastwood or Eastward Eastward apparently I just don't know how to pronounce anything it is actually a game published by the same publisher who published Stardew Valley so Eastward is an action adventure RPG where you're playing as two characters so there's this big brawly man and this tiny little blonde head girl and they work together to explore the world of Eastwood fend off monsters and they solve puzzles I remember when I was reading about the game they said that it takes quite a lot of inspiration from Zelda but also from Studio Ghibli movies so if you like Zelda and if you like Studio Ghibli then I think this one will be for you and so those are 10 more cozy games that I recommend on the Nintendo Switch if there are any upcoming games coming out on the Nintendo Switch that you think we should check out leave a comment down below so we can create a list and maybe make a video about it in the future thank you so much for watching please take care of yourselves and I will see you in another video bye